It's Super Stargraph Bros. Beta. Silver Tuesday edition. Because we can't find an actual silver game. So here we go, into the game. Milano O. So Iron Sparks will be taking on Milano O. It's going to be a PvP on Core Hall City. What? So, uh, what are your strategies going into the game, Iron Sparks? Don't die. Don't die. All right. Uh, do you have anything more specific than don't die? Banelings. Banelings. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if that's going to really work. <laughs> All right. Load screen is going. Widow mine? Widow mines? Uh, no, I don't think you can use those either. Um. So, guys, uh, since since we last played beta... Uh, There's been a patch or two. Yeah, Blizzard has updated for Protoss. They've updated the Mothership a couple times. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just did an update on the Oracle, changing up some of its uh, spells. So, do you plan on using the Oracle or the Mothership in the game? No, I'm going straight Zealot. All right, sounds good. Proxy 2-gate? Proxy 5-gate. I've seen that happen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Iron Sparks is loaded in. The auto mine feature on the probes uh, kick into high gear, and they are off and going. And, of course, the manners are thrown out for Iron Sparks. And that's all he gets. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and all you get is some good luck. Milano O does not want you to have fun. Uh, country, we live in America. You didn't have to yell it. <laughs> Alright, so Iron Sparks, your minerals are stacking up. You know what? Oh well. So uh, you might want to get that gateway down and then uh, start scouting them out. This uh, is a map very similar. I need a pylon first. Yep, it's a map very similar to Shattered Temple almost. And uh, we did tweak the, the volume buttons uh, for these casts. So we don't really know how loud it is for you. For us, it's really loud since we're using headphones instead of a headset. Yeah, we finally found the, the new ear pods. Apple ear pods um, at our local Target. Love Target. So uh, we got a pair of them. They're actually they're really nice. They're comfortable. If you like Apple headphones, these are definitely a lot better than the, the second generation Apple headphones. So I recommend them. Yeah, um, and they have the little controls, which I like. Yeah, controls, microphone built in. So very nice. So that was your tech news. And uh, let's see, Iron Sparks has thrown down his gateway. And uh, he is scouting around. The 9 o'clock spot of the map is empty, though... Did you scout out the hole? Yeah, you scout out the hole. Yeah, see, I actually understand the symmetry now. <laughs> First time I played, I, the, the opponent was right here, and I checked right here. Oh, well. So you did find your opponent. Uh, gateway is going up. you got to zap into it. So he's definitely going to lose now because you have less HP. And um, yeah. it does look like his own probe has discovered you, and it's returning the zaps. We know how I feel about that. Give a mouth full of minerals to it? Yeah. Alright. So Iron Sparks is jumping on top of his macro a little bit more. Uh, Cybercore going down. You pulled too many probes for that gas geyser. Now you pulled all the probes <laughs> for the gas geyser. What do you do you even know how to play this game? You're terrible. <laughs> Wow, that's um, that's interesting. All right, so Iron Spark has a chrono on the Nexus to get out more workers, and he has to get rid of this pesky probe. Now, uh, this is an interesting map where your your natural expansion is in the base. Mm -hmm. Um, this can be ideal, essentially, because the base is so large, you can drop proxy pylons. You can expand in your base without really any worries of uh, having to defend. And uh, that probe, that pesky blue probe, is definitely putting in work. He's pulled off one of your probes and annoyed you. I like how you saved and got those minerals to the Nexus. Hey, it's 15 minerals. And uh, you do have your probe hidden up in the top part of his base near his expansion. Did you throw a pylon down or anything like that? No. Nah. Alright, you're just going to go in for some scouting? Mm -hmm. Uh, looks like your probe's still fighting at the watch to that's Oh! Cool. That's cool. So you I, got I see your stalker. You got a stalker on the way. Why are you rallied up there? I have no idea. <laughs> but you do have a stalker on the way. Um, your probe is sitting in the middle of Blue's base right now, just chilling and getting that oracle out. Yeah. Alright, what has he got going down? Gateways. Alright, so he's probably doing a four gate. Um, you don't want to get a pylon behind those gateways. It's just nah, that's overrated. I mean, the Artosis pylon's adorable, but. Hey, you know, gotta pay homage. Homage or homage? What's the difference? 
pronunciation. Your pronunciation. Woo! Alright, so Iron Sparks is chrono boosting out his uh, warp gate tech. It should be finished before the six minute mark. And uh, how do you feel? I feel like this. Why'd you take your hand off the keyboard? Because I was flipping, okay. flipping my hair. Oh, okay. You don't have enough hair. <laughs> I feel that this guy isn't going to be going any new uh, units. No, uh, I do think you haven't gotten the Mothership Core. You might want to get one of those. Oh, forgot about that. Great, great defense. Um, they did up the price of it now, so it goes. It does cost what, yeah, hundred hundred. Yeah, because I used to get it right when I started uh, Warp Gate, but since they increased the gas, I've been waiting on it. Which is, I, I think that's fine. I think that makes it a little more fair. And uh, you do have your trio, trio of units. Always remind me of a. Uh, of Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli from Lord of the Rings for some reason. You have a Zealot, Stalker, and Sentry all together. Which one's the Sentry? Uh, the Sentry would have to be Gimli. Why? He's small. Phone? Really? Really phone? Wouldn't it, uh, wouldn't... I don't know. I would think more... And I guess the Zealot would be Aragorn, and then the Stalker would be Legolas because he can shoot. Yeah, like, I understand that, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm feeling like the... the... Are you going to do the Energize trick on the Oracle? Yeah, it's going to take a while. Yeah, it does. You do have to wait. I mean, I have to wait for uh, 100 energy. Right. Yeah, definitely get that expand down. And make sure you're working on your troops, because you never know. This guy might just go straight poor gate. Um, so definitely get your troops. Have your sentry ready. You have the middle watchtower, right? Yep. All right. I mean, that does capture... It, it, there's so much real estate around the watchtowers. Vision area. You know what this reminds me of? What? The X-Men symbol. Yeah, it does. It kind of has a nice X, mm -hmm. has a circle. Which I'm, I'm looking forward to the, that does. movie. And, Wolver and the Wolverine. They're making another Wolverine? Yeah, the Wolverine. Have they started filming it? Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. It's when he spends time in uh, Japan. Oh, interesting. I don't know that backstory. Yeah, and he trains with the samurai. Oh, okay. So let's see, uh, 15 out of 24 workers on that Nexus, and Robo Bay down, are you going uh, Fast Sentry, or are you going to go on Mortals? Do you Fast Sentry? Uh, uh, Observer. <laughs> for, some <straight> <laughs> for some reason, my brain thinks Sentry, someone who watches, uh, Observer <laughs> gets constantly looped into that. Um, so you're going to energize the Oracle, wow, talk about beefiness, and uh, you have Stalkers on inbound. Don't get your oracle intercepted. Oh. And um, that uh, that cannon thing. I mean, how how does the cannon? Well, I'm not. I'm gonna ask you after the battle. I'm gonna deter these uh, sentries away. Maybe you can grab one. Then you get one of those vipers so you can pull them back. What was that? Did you see something over here? Uh, I did not. I was not watching. Might have just been. Uh, I say go do the harassment, but be prepared over there. Maybe get a stock for a team. He might be sending uh, an oracle down to you as well. I doubt it. Um, let's see. Oracle is heading in to the main. Harmonized. Right, so we have we have the phase. This is going down. Oh yeah, I forgot it actually does. It attacks on its own now. And uh, all right, so you've blocked mining for a little bit at both bases. I'll have to see how that uh, what should I call it? The void siphon. Yeah. I'll have to see how that works next once it gets enough. Uh, oh, okay, you do another pass. Yeah. All right. So uh, we have looked at the replays, guys, and that uh that ability by the oracle really does cut down on the income for your opponent. Um, it doesn't really seem like it, but it really does slow down the in income. It's not it's not a direct economy harassment like uh oh boy, Hellions or something like that. What? A lot of mortals. All right. Uh, you gonna go void ray or? Um, maybe get it, get the tempest going, or it's not gonna win me the game, but you know, no. trying to figure out how these new units can actually be used. If you can, maybe get some more gateways or something like that. Gateways uh, are overrated. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, no one uses gateways. Pylons, pylons, pylons. I'm okay on pylons. See, the thing is, I've never had the Oracle used against me. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, well, you used it against me when we were uh, using Practicing. the custom game. Mm -hmm. They're really, really annoying. But I've never actually ha had it used against me. I did. Uh, you need more pylons. I did. It's building right now. I need more. Stay on top of your chrono. Get your army up. 
I wish there was some type of upgrade to make the the Tempest attack faster. Or do more splash damage. Yeah, I think splash damage would be a uh, really, really good addition to the Tempest. Um, considering it, it fires so slow... So, right now, are you just trying to get your immortal count up to combat his immortal count? Yeah, because I have a feeling he's going to go, uh, why don't I just look? Do you well, know about got, this? What, is it, what are his upgrades? Nothing. Alright. Let's see, he's still the Stargate. I'm curious what he's doing with that. Yeah, he's Templar got Archives. Templar. He's getting Blink. Uh, maybe he's going Archon. Maybe High Templar isn't... Direct my vengeance. Hey, <laughs> you're expecting an oracle now? No, I'm expecting a. Uh, well, he threw drops. down. He threw down. There's oracle. All right, Iron Sparks instantly gets those guys on attack to take down those shields. And uh, it takes a long time. It does. And uh, you might want to throw down one or uh, maybe another another cannon. And, uh, you should be all right. Get some cannons down at your main. I have some. And, uh, Tempest is here. Uh, now the upgrade for the Tempest is totally gone, right? Yeah, they just totally removed it because it's unnecessary. All right. So yeah, make sure your your stock accounts high, and uh, just remember to keep your uh, your Tempest in the back. Mm. Well, that won't be hard. So uh, is your oracle ready to do another run, or no, do I'm you think there's too many cannons? Like, if I can get a building, I'm going to try this Void Siphon thing, um, but I don't, I don't really know how it's going to work. Maybe try it on that assimilator? Do you have to stay next to it? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, you can't move. Interesting. That is the most... That's... The useless I think that, I've ever like, seen. adding sight to a building was a little bit more... Like really? No, no <laughs> lie. That is so dumb. I don't. Oh well. Um, getting your workers back on track. Definitely keep your ground army good. How's the tempest count going? Two. Two. How much damage did they do? Thirty-three. You already have the air upgrade. Awesome. Um. You need more pylons. Maybe have an observer with you just in case he decides to throw down some, uh, to get a mothership. It's a lot of, a lot of pylons. Hey. <laughs> um, I would say do another warp cycle or get some more, uh, just do another warp cycle and then, uh, maybe get your third. Hmm. Make sure your tempest stay in the back. Not really worried about them. I, I know, but they can do so much more damage if they're in the back and away from the stalkers. Um... Wow. Well, the cannons are there to help break it up. So, I mean, oracles aren't that... How much... What's the life on an oracle? An are under attack. Uh, how many probes under attack? Um... I don't know. You got the mothership who does... Who has its own base damage now. Got another Tempest out. Make sure you use those chronos. Well, chrono... You, Stargates, Chrono Research, and like that. Give gas at the second. Yeah. So yeah, get that thing set up. So yeah, I mean, you gotta have quite a bit of cannons. I have really low gas for some reason. Um, you got workers on all of them? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you got Archons. That looks like it's gonna be his attack force. Uh, Bring it. Make sure the Tempests are in the back. I think they'll help out a lot. And, uh, yeah, I think stockers would be definitely a better idea. Uh, use your chrono if you can. I don't have enough gas, really. Chrono stuff out. I'm gonna try to get these uh, upgrades going. So you got your forges going. Go up to this, uh, there you go. Um, maybe throw down the Nexus now, or. Maybe just invest in units. I'm gonna put it on that. I still wanna know what happens if you break the rocks. I don't. I don't wanna throw down some cannons at the choke point. You got the extra minerals. <laughs> Two observers saying hi. Uh, I spotted something over there. Where? I don't know. I, at the I get the out outs of the fourth. It's a very gas intensive build. 
I <laughs> Protoss, gas. yeah, Protoss is a very gas intensive build now. Um, you guys, I think you guys are going to be maxed out before you engage. Without a doubt. So, uh, did you want to bring that mothership core up for added or get the mothership or? I don't know. Um, now, the purify thing. Too much gas. <laughs> Was that 300 gas? Yeah. Dang. Uh, Chrono boost out your forges. Chrono boost out your stargate. That'll help that tempest get out. Um, if you can, maybe throw down some cannons at that choke. And uh, yeah, we don't. I wonder why. I mean, they give you the warning. They give you the warning for it. So he has two oracles up. How, what do they take up? Two supplies. So he has a couple supplies. Get this transferred down. Just, they have so much life. You might want to try and do your own oracle block to like return the favor. Well, I'm gonna see how many four he has. Um, I only have so much supply left. So, Colossus will definitely. Have, did you get the thermal lance on those? I thought I started, but I didn't have gas. There's the army. Keep the Tempest in the back. Colossus in the back. And, um... Let's see if you can survive this. Alright, guys, here comes the Grand Protoss battle. We have a couple Colossus on the field for Iron Sparks. He blinks back to attack it, and there is the Mothership. Iron Sparks gets the Tempest to blast away at the Mothership. One more volley, and it is down. I lose. He is going to lose because that mothership, that invisibility field did provide extra cover. Uh, Iron Sparks does have Blink. He has a Colossus that has come out. The Tempests are taking a lot of uh, focus fire from the Stalkers. Uh, another wave of, of... Ooh. We got Archons and Stalkers on the field for the blue player. Colossus is doing a lot of damage. Uh, Tempest doing quite a bit of damage as well. They just attack really slow. Wave of Stalkers coming in for Iron Sparks. If you can push this back, you might have a chance. The Blue Army is baiting these Tempests. That's all they really care about. Maybe you can put down a Purify on the Nexus. Nexus dealing damage as well. Uh, just another round of... Stalkers, another Colossus comes out, but it's going to get sniped before it can do anything. This is actually a pretty epic Protoss battle. Good back and forth. The Mothership core is definitely showing how it can be effective, but there must be a proxy pylon somewhere, and there's just too many Stalkers on the field for the blue player. He has that, uh... Oh, he has that War Prison they pulled over there. Uh, the Stalker count is getting really, really high now. Um, Iron Sparks is trying to rally his army up into the classic Protoss Death Ball. Uh, Zealot's heading in to try and do some damage. They actually might be able to pick off an Immortal. But the Stalker count, he's a, your opponent's just going straight all Stalker. I don't think... I don't I don't know if you can recover from this. You would need some, some amazing Root Destiny or, or just channel your, your pick of Grandmaster Protoss player. Tempa doing a lot of damage to these units, but uh, the Spire Raid is just definitely uh, not up there. Base is under attack. Let's see, we do have... Ah, Iron Sparks has lost his Cyber Core. That is one of the disadvantages of putting it up by the ramp. And uh, a little bit of kiting. I don't know if you really can kite that much. Blinking away to try and join up with that Tempest. Iron Sparks is doing all that he can to try and rally his troops together. Uh, we are kind of doing a last-ditch Alamo at this third... Gateway is going down. Uh, do you still have a forge up? Yeah. Uh, DT trains going down. You might want to lay down some cannons. You never know. Cannons going down. Uh, that stalker count is huge. Oracle going in now to see if it can be a little bit annoying and maybe distract his opponent. I 
don't know why you're destroying those rocks. It's really not going to help you. Yes, it is. And uh, here comes the last push by this huge stalker army. They blink forward to annihilate everything in a couple shots. And Iron Sparks, I believe that is the game. It's all right. You can do it. GG. GG. You can do it. And Iron Sparks is out for this special Silver Tuesday edition of the StarCraft II beta. It's kind of sad with the beta when people just go straight up old school units. And uh, Iron Sparks getting thrown down into bronze. I don't, I don't feel like both players played at bronze level. And uh, that has been Tuesday. So uh, leave a comment down below on how you think beta is going. Um, subscribe, like, have a great day. And if you're playing beta as well, send us your replays. We'd love to, uh, we'd love to cast your game. And do you have any last words, Iron Sparks? GG. GG.